Hi viewers, wish you a time of happy learning with the last minute professor. In this video, we shall see how to get a list as an input from user in a single line of Python code. I shall explain it to you in five simple steps. Step number one, create an empty list. So to create an empty list, we usually give list name is equal to empty square bracket. Here, let me have the list name as A. So A is equal to empty square bracket. Step number two. How do I usually get an input from user using input of function? So here, inside that empty list, let me mention that input of. Next step, step number three. I need to repeatedly get the input from the user. So for that purpose, I'm going to use for loop. So what is the syntax for for loop? Normally we give for iteration variable name. So here let me have it as i in. So I'm giving that before the input of function. Next step, step number four. The value user gives will be in i and that is the one that needs to be included in the list. So let me mention i before for. Now you may have a doubt. How long does this accept input from user? Well, by default, once the enter key is pressed, it stops accepting input. Fine, but how can I get many input values then? The answer comes in the next step, step number five. In that single line of input, the user can give the values separated by some separator, for example, comma. If I need to give one, two, three, four as inputs, I can give like one comma two comma three comma four, or I can even use space one space two space three space four, etc. So maybe I'll explain you with the comma. So how can we separate by that separator? So the string is there. I can use the split off function. So dot split off. When should I split? When it encounters a comma. So that I have to give within quotes. So I'm giving within quotes comma. I'm saving it and running it. It is asking me the input. I'm giving it as one comma two comma three comma four. The name of the list is A. So I am printing and seeing it now. It is one, two, three, four. Well, by default, the input of function accepts the input as a string. In case you want the values to be stored as an integer. What you have to do is here you have to mention as int of convert the value into integer. And also when accepting the input from user, if you want any message to be displayed on the screen, you can give within the input of function in double quotes, maybe like enter the values separated by a comma. I can give it here within double quotes. I'm saving it and running it. So now it is telling enter the values separated by a comma. And I'm giving one comma, two comma, three comma, four, and I'm pressing enter key. So now if I print and see the value of the list A, it will be one, two, three, four. That's it. To encourage and support this work, do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.